Hi everyone. Uh, I'm going to make the PF Sense videos, and in the very first video, I will only download the PF Sense image file, and also I will show you how to install it. So in the first video, I will only do the installation. So let's download the PF Sense image file from the website. Two point three version is there available. I am choosing sixty four bit version. Okay, I'm downloading this PFSense this disk ISO file, not for a memory stick. So I also recommend you to go ahead and download the PFSense latest version from the website, official website. After the very first video, uh, later I will show you. Uh, after installation, I will show you how to block video streaming, how to shape, how to traffic shaping, and how to configure it properly as a proxy server. I have downloaded the latest version. That is 2.3. Now I need to install this image in virtual machine, and I have created the virtual machine for PHNS firewall. Only need to put the CD inside the virtual machine. Okay, before going to install this, I want to show you something. This is the diagram. I will uh, create two virtual machine, one for my client machine, and one machine for firewall. In the firewall, I will attach two NIC card. Because one IC card would be for internal network, and other an IC card would be for external network, which is going towards internet. So the scenario would be like this: every request from the client PC will go to the firewall. Firewall check the firewall check the request, incoming request, and according to rule, it will send. Towards internet, so this would be the scenario. And to create this scenario, uh, the virtual machine which has firewall, I will set one IC an IC card to bridge mode and another an IC card to host only, as in shown as shown in figure right now. And for the virtual machine that is client PC, I will set the IP address. Like as shown in figure, 10.0.0.2, same as the address of the firewalls host-only address. This would, this is the whole thing. So network address are same for the client machine and the firewall host-only address. So they can communicate easily. I can show you the interfaces here in the PFSense firewall virtual machine. One is host only, and another one is at on bridge mode. Okay, now going for installation. Turning on the virtual machine. And setting first boot device. As a CD room,
now it's showing message if you want to go to recovery mode you can press R or if you want to launch the installer press I pressing I here here it is asking select the environment as per your preferences but I will accept the current environment and now uh, I hope you are familiar with Linux operating systems you can create custom partitions by use by your own if you don't want to create any partition custom partitions you can go for quick or easy install so right now I'm going for quick and easy install by assuming that you are aware of open Linux operating systems it will take time okay now the next point it's asking me to choose the kernel configuration uh, I am choosing here standard kernel configuration mm, I hope that uh, I believe the embedded kernel configuration is for those who want to configure or manage this firewall remotely but now I am using the standard kernel So it's a very easy installation. Okay, the installation has completed. Now it's showing also username and password on screen. You can see for further configuration. Okay, now the next step is we have to set the IP addresses of external interface card and also for internal interface card after installation just reboot the CD and just start the VM layer Take any old PC which has 1 GB of RAM and 3 gigs of processor and then install this PSM firewall on that PC, old PC and you can use it uh, in your company at gateway if you work perfectly ok I am showing you how to set the interfaces of both LAN and WAN Ethernet card so let me open my the diagram You can see uh, in the diagram I have already set the interfaces as per diagram but I'm gonna set it again to show you how can you set it to set the IP addresses you can see the option number two set interfaces IP address so press 2 so now it is asking which uh, interface you want to set so I'm going to set to when point asking do you want the when to get the IP address from USB server? No, I will set it manually. So set the IP address. Uh, okay, the, the when IP address would be 192.168.1.100 because it is going towards internet. .1 and it's showing asking bit the bit would be 24 bits okay now it's asking for gateway 
WAN enter the new WAN IP upstream gateway address. So the gateway would be 192.168.1.1 my modems routers IP address. Okay, now it's asking me to set the IP version 6. No, I don't require IP version 6. Press enter for none. Okay, that's it. Now you can see the IP version WAN address has been set to 192.168.100 as per our diagram. That is bridge mode interface. Now I need to set the LAN interface. Again, I'm setting you for it. Set it again, press 2 and press 2 for LAN and it's asking the IP address. The IP address would be, you can see, 10.0.0.1, 10.1 and the bit will be for 24 bits, I will use here, 24 bits and it's asking for gateway, I will not mention gateway here because the firewall is the internal uh, Ethernet card of a firewall is directly connected to my PC. So there is no switch in the middle. So that's why the firewall doesn't require any gateway. So I am leaving gateway here right now. I hope you can understand. And enter the new line IP address. Or press enter for none. none. I don't want IP version 6. Okay. No, I don't want to enable the DSP server on this interface because I have already DSP server, uh, like a individual DSP server in my company network. Press no. So now it's giving me address, web address to configure the firewall from the client machine. So that's it. Everything has done. After installation, we just configured the IP addresses of both LAN card, like Ethernet card. Now the next step is to configure the firewall through different PC, my client PC from here. This so I will open this PC. After opening this PC, I will put this address in the web browser that is http 10.0.0.1. So I will configure the firewall from web interface in the next video. Thanks for watching this video.